Hey guys, how are you? Hope you're well. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use the accordion controllers using jQuery. So this is an example. So over here I've got first, second, third. If I click, it releases the content and that's available to see. Um, click the second one, third one, and I can completely collapse it as well by clicking on the third. So this is a, a quick example. Um, okay, so the way we do that is we need to firstly go to the jQueryUI.com website. I think the UI stands for user interaction uh, or interface actually. So okay, what we need to do first of all is go to the download section. So if I click on the download section and no actually if I go to the themes section I can actually create a theme of my own. So these are all the different uh, themes and this is basically a collection of different types of user uh, interaction things that could be placed on our website. So you've got, you know, a slider, you've got um, different buttons, you've got the date picker right here, you've got the dialog box which just brings up a message and so on. There's quite a few different things. So you've got the tabs right here. So we're just going to be focusing on the accordion section. And what you can do is use this um, roll your own theme and actually find uh, different, uh, create different themes using different colors and so on. What we're going to do is, I'm just going to uh, click on gallery and pick one that they've created for us. I'm just going to pick this blue one and hit the download button. Um, we can select which things we want. Do we want the, you know, the accordion? Do we want the buttons? I'm just going to go ahead and download everything just for the sake of it and hit download. Okay, so I've just downloaded the file to the desktop. And once the, down the file is downloaded, we just need to extract the file and just show you guys what's inside the file um, it's got cascading style sheets and it's got the images to go with our new theme and it's got the Java, uh, yeah, the JavaScript the jQuery uh, libraries inside there and it's got the custom one for the UI um, and it's got uh, the development bundle section where you can actually go in and you know you can look at the different demos um, just gonna click on one to show you guys and it just shows, talks you through the different things. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go into Dreamweaver and go into Manage Site. I'm going to create a new site and I'm just going to call it Test um, UI. And I'm going to press, going to locate my locate the file I just extracted and it is this one right here double click and select press save wait for this to um, reference everything properly we'll hit done and going inside here I'm just going to press the index index sorry I'm just going to hit F12 to see what the index looks like so you've got this as the example so you can see these are the accordion controllers the second third these are the tabs so this is sort of the theme that we're going to be creating. Okay, so let's make a start and actually create a new file, a new file, and I'm just going to call it test again. And I'm going to go inside this test section. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this index page as a guide, as a sort of a, a way to help me build my accordion controllers. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to look right here, and I can see that it's referenced it to a, a a style sheet what we can do is we can actually just copy these um, three lines um, or we could type them in manually and I've shown you guys how to do that on the previous tutorials um, but I'm just going to copy this these three lines um, and what this first line has done is it's referenced it to the uh, style sheet the second uh, line has referenced it to the Java uh, jQuery library so that's the first one and that is the second one just to show you guys um, really quickly how to actually do that manually the um, referencing the style sheet I'm just going to delete that line of code and I am going to press this button right here attach style sheet and press the browse button CSS and start and this is the custom CSS press open and OK and that is that one line of code right here done um, in Dreamweaver Okay, so we're, we're ready to make a start. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and type in uh, some jQuery. So I'm going to, first of all, type in script and 
and the type of script is going to be a JavaScript and I'm just gonna close this right now I'm just gonna close this tag okay so I'm gonna start typing in my jQuery now what I'm gonna do is put my dollar sign in open close my brackets write the word document and we're going to say when this document is ready we want an action to happen and that action is going to be a function and this function is going to be these are the syntaxes for this function uh, let me just get rid of this hashtag right there and that's fine okay so I'm not going to actually put anything in there at the moment we're just going to start creating our content itself so I'm just going to go into the index um, the example um, that we downloaded and basically just go inside here and we can see that over here there's this accordion section right here and I'm just going to copy this whole section and basically we, I'll talk you through what the code is in a second so just to save time um, it's fairly basic stuff going inside the body tags I'm just going to paste my code inside okay so I'm just going to talk you through um, the code that we just copied over so I've got the div tag right here and it has an ID of accordion so it's really important that we remember that this div tag has got an ID of accordion and inside that div tag we've got three other divs so one two and three and inside each div we've got a heading um, and this is this has got a h3 tag so that's also something that we need to remember it's got a h3 tag and it's got a link inside there and it's a dead link so it's got just this hashtag and inside there is the first and in the second one it's got the second and in the third it's got a third now there's a div embedded within that as well which has got the text that we need so it's fairly basic stuff so we've got a, an overall div and then inside there we have got three sub divs and inside there each sub div we've got two other sections the first one is a h3 which has got a link and there is a div just for our content and our text um, so I'm just going to type in my jQuery now so I'm just going to type the dollar sign and open and close my brackets and put in my speech marks going to now refer to the class so the div tag with the accordion ID so okay so because it's an ID it should have a hash sign in front of it if it was a class it would have a dot in front of it I'm just going to press paste so hash accordion dot accordion because we're calling the accordion function and we are going to have to put in some parameters within the accordion method or the function and the parameter we're going to define is we're going to let it know that the headers header and then just put a colon the header is within a h3 tag so I'm just going to press uh, my speech marks and type in h3 and just going to just have a quick glance at my code okay so I've just missed out one thing and what I needed to do was put a, a curly brace around that so that is around them parameters so okay I'm just going to hit F12 and hopefully it should work so okay we can see our accordion has started to work okay so one additional functionality we can add is to make our accordion collapsible so if I'm pressing the first button right here it's not completely collapsing so what I can do is go back into my code press the comma and type in collapsible and colon true so that's a second parameter we can add so collapsible true F, hit the F12 and hopefully it should be completely collapsible so we've got the second third and then collapse the third one completely as well so hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial uh, make sure you comment rate and subscribe and yeah take care